My name is Max Caulfield. I'm 18 years old. After five years, I'm back in my hometown, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Then something happened. Something that changed my life forever. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Ah, there's Samuel, up early, already communing with the critic. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. I definitely won't play with this thing again. Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Hello again, Samuel. Hello again yourself, Max. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. So did you know her? Like I told the police. She was a good egg, and she gave me those photos. Oh, you talked to the police? Rachel wanted to be a model. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio.
Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Shit, the window was still broken after I warned Alyssa about the rogue football. One little thing changed the course of that window's life. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her, I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever, we've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Warren is out and about already too. Looks like he's with Warren. What are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel.
talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. I don't want to go that way. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Oh, stop that, stop. No barky. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family, when we were happy. I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire and our big headline is snow. 
I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? I don't want to go that way. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. <laughs>